Hey you guys, what up, what up? It's your boy Tyson. We are back today with a video slash podcast. Um, I know y'all haven't heard from me in like two weeks. I saw me. I saw me. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all life updates at the end to kind of explain where my head's been at. But I want to go right into the video slash podcast. So today's topic is going to be this viral video of this black man that pretty much did a disservice to his daughter. Um... I was just really, really, really disappointed when I saw this. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to give y'all the video slash audio. And just so it's already known for my YouTube folks, I did take this from Paris's channel. I wanted to say that because there is her little emblem in the bottom. And I know how people are like, oh, you taking content and not saying nothing. Nah, 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 nah. Um, even though she didn't give any you know, commentary on it, she just kind of posted it and left. But I did want to let that be known. Um... So, with that being said, here's the video slash audio from my podcast, people. And then I will come back and explain in detail what happened and give my thoughts. Hey, get out there, too. I just want to show her that dog. I just want to show her that dog. Oh. My God, shit. Yeah. Let's get the dog. Ooh. All right, so you guys just heard slash saw that audio. So real quick to give a play by play, the lady who was on the phone walks outside. She sees the dog at the gate and she's telling him to get up off the gate. Some people thought that she was talking to the man. She was talking, telling him to get out of the yard. She was talking to the dog to get off the gate. At that point, the man, I guess he just picked his daughter up from off the bus or whatever, and he walks across. He says, I just wanted to show her the dog. He did not say she wanted to see the dog. He said he wanted to show her the dog. So she didn't want to see that damn dog. Odds are. I'm just assuming. Um, and I don't blame her. I'm 22 years old, and I want nothing to do with a pit bull. I just don't. And I will go into that later a little bit um, and expound on that. But um, nonetheless... At this point, they're looking at the dog. Everything's cool at first. And their neighbors, apparently they're familiar with each other because she said, oh, I was like, who is that? So they're familiar with each other. They do know each other. And at first, everything's cool. Then the dog barks and it's like, hold up. And apparently, the owner has a part in which the gate has, I guess, either chewed it or roughed up the gate to where they can get out. So that is what happened. The dog got out and she said, oh, shit, whatever. He's going for the hole, something to the extent of that. This man, in all of his 300 plus pound ass in this, decides to jump his big ass on top of her car. And his daughter is screaming in terror while the dog is, you know, kind of semi chasing after her. Um, now, once the woman who is the neighbor who owns the dog starts asserting herself, like he stops right then and there. So he's still outside the gate, but as soon as she comes out, he comes back in. However, before she gets out the gate and the dog is still within, you know, distance of the child, the child is screaming, daddy, 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 help me, help me, help me. And she's crying. She's in terror. Like she's, a sh she's afraid. She's scared. And he's chastising her for crying and being scared. And he even does it after the dog is back in the gate and she's put him up in the house. She, he's still chastising her with his big 300 pound plus ass on top of his neighbor's car. Telling her to go into the house, run into the house. All right, so that pretty much ties up the sequence of the video and everything. Because I know there was some, um, I did look in her comments to see what everybody was kind of thinking. 
Um, and I, so I wanted to give a clear sequence of what was going on. So with that being said, first off, the owner should have fixed the gate. I will say that. She definitely should have that gate fixed. Um, she said he's going for the hole. So all, all this whole thing gives me familiarity. Obviously, she is familiar with the neighbor enough for him to be in her yard. So I don't feel like she felt like he was an imminent danger. Even the dog, like if they were strangers, the dog would have probably immediately started barking. You know what I'm saying? Especially a breed like a pit bull. Um, but they're obviously familiar with each other. The dog is also obviously familiar with that hole because he knew exactly where to go when he wanted to get his happy ass out. Now, he very well may have wanted to just sniff the girl out, whatever the situation is. Maybe he's seen the dad before, but not the girl. Who knows what the backstory is? But she does need to get that gate fixed. However, the, vocal, the focal point of the video is this man, as scared as he may have been, did not protect his child in this instance she could have gotten bit that animal could have had rabies and maybe they didn't know um there could have been a numerous of things that happened dogs although they are domesticated animals they can do real damage and although it is on the owner to have a certain amount of control over their pet once your child is put in the same vicinity as that pet and this pet is not familiar with your child it is on you as a parent to protect your child it is on you now, even if I, I, I could even give it to him if because I watched the video and I was like, OK, maybe he's going to pick her up after he gets up on there, you know, because he could easily like hoist her up. He didn't just want to throw her on top of the car. I could I could get with that kind of, you know what I'm saying? I can at least give him that that little inch of a mile. He didn't even do that the whole time. He was worried about him and not his child. That's where my issue lies. Now, as far as dogs are concerned, I have a personal story of mine with dogs that just kind of recently happened um with my particular roommates I'm staying with there are is a female dog and a male dog and um the female dog is gone now she she well she's bit a couple people but she ended up biting a kid and prime example you know what I'm saying she bit a kid she was a um German Shepherd those are police dogs you know what I'm saying so um for those who don't know but nonetheless um, she just, the moment I got here, she had a real aggression towards me. So I don't know what her issue was. I don't know if she was racist. I used to joke around about that because she did have a white coat. So she was essentially quote unquote white. Um, but I would make that joke from time to time. Um, and she, if, at the beginning, she was kind of bipolar with it. And, um, like if I pet the boy dog, then she'll want attention or whatever. But if I'm just walking around, she just, she ain't really stunting me. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as the boy dog gets attention, then she wants attention. And I definitely, she ended up getting pregnant in the last few months and um, having some puppies. And I definitely see that trait in one of her, in her daughter. Um, the daughter definitely takes after her mom in that way. Anytime I'm giving a boy dog attention, she will jump on top of him, like play bite him. And well, I guess it's playing. I, I just I really couldn't be a dog. I'd be looking at dogs play fight and I'm like, bro, I, I we be squaring up. They be a little too rough for me. But nonetheless, um, I see that quality in her daughter. But um when she had gotten real, real pregnant, she was maybe a week or in some change away from finally giving birth to the children, she had ended up nicking me on my knee. And in 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 relativity to how I've seen her fuck up other people, um, I kind of got lucky. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't have known that at that time. But she ended up nicking. I've seen, she nicked me. She fucked up. Um, there was a game night. They were having a game night one day, and I did. Um, I had actually played with them this particular game night, and she fucked up one of their guests. They had to go get stitches. Whereas me, she kind of nicked my knee. Like she literally bit me, my knee as if it was like a chew toy. Like I was coming down the stairs and when I got from the second stair to the bottom, she just kind of took a bite like, like as if I was sticking out a toy for her. But I guess compared to what she did to me, I kind of got off easy because she fucked up. Like I said, she fucked up that person at the game night and then she also, also bit a kid. Um, and she's done a couple other things too. But nonetheless... With all that being said, I can still say um, I'm, I'm not a baby daddy. Um, this is husband dick. But, but if I did, you know, let's say got married young or whatever and it didn't work out and I had a child, I can say if 
that child was in a situation staying here with me um, and she had got aggressive, it would be on me to protect my child. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think that's the basis of what everybody's trying to get at. And I think this problem, this video speaks to a microcosm of a bigger issue, which is we've been talking about it for years, black women not feeling protected. And I guess at this point, to black men, my thing is, when is it going to be enough? When is it going to be enough? You know what I'm saying? When will y'all start seeing black women the same way that they see black men collectively. There are some black women who are divested, who are swirling. They look at the white man as a savior. They have a savior complex. What they do, some white men, some black men do too. They literally get with these white women to breed out the blackness in them. There's self-hate on both sides of the interracial dating. And once I bring back the black male accountability segment, we will get into that. But when is it going to be enough? You know what I'm saying? We can sit here and talk about Bible verses and submission and all that. But if you can't even submit a damn application for a job, what, what, what submission are you asking for? I just don't understand. I don't understand. Um, yeah, I don't understand. And this was the little girl. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't understand this, the, the embarrassment, the rage I felt, um, that paternal instinct. I feel like it's in some of us who don't even have children. Like, for instance, me. I remember catching my baby sister when she almost fell off the bed one time, and everybody was just staring at me. Like, I literally caught her, like, within one second. As soon as I saw gravity kind of take over, I had her, and I had her right in my arms. And I've kind of always had that paternal side to me, even without having children. So I just don't understand how, as I said, even if he wanted to get up and secure himself on the car first and get her, granted, that still leaves her open for an attack, but he still didn't do that either. So I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. I just, I feel so bad for black women. I do. I really do. <laughs> So glad I don't have a pussy. I just, <laughs> what y'all gonna do? Cause I, mm, I, mm, I just, I don't, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. I really don't have any more thoughts for this. I'm embarrassed as a black man. Um, and y'all let me know down below. Um, do y'all have any traumatic dog experiences? Even if y'all do, do y'all think y'all would put you yourself over your child because of those traumatic experiences? Y'all let me know down below, and we'll get back on the next um, episode. Peace. Oh, yeah, real quick. I forgot to give y'all the updates. So, real quick, everything that's been going on. Um, work and, um, well, actually, work has been slowed down. We're actually at a point where the company I'm working with, we might, our location, we might have to shut down because of our cut in sales. And um, there's some other things there that I have some opinions on. But nonetheless, I'm either looking at getting a second job or just moving on altogether because of, you know, just COVID cutting the hours. I know right now I'm looking for something remote. If y'all know anything that is anybody that's hiring that is remote, completely remote, unless you, you know, live in my city, which is Augusta, Georgia, let me know down below. But I've been looking for stuff that's remote right now, something that I can do while I'm at the house. Um, I've been staying on top of working out. Um, I just got some supplements. I got some cinnamon, organic cinnamon, some organic ginger, very much organic turmeric. Your boy's not playing. Y'all going to be Netflix and filling, as in filling in your clothes. And when it come time for next spring, I'm be naked. I'm going to be naked as hell. Hell, I might start in the winter. Y'all just, y'all. if y'all follow me on social media, y'all going to be like, oh, somebody please make him put clothes on. I ain't playing. But for, but for real, I'm, I'm getting real serious about these supplements. I'm not like day by, or like calorie by calorie counting my calories, but I am doing like, okay, this protein shake has 150 calories in it. The almond milk I poured in has 100 or I know 80 calories per eight ounces and I'll measure it out in my cup. And then I'll be like, okay, that's 230 calories. I'll do like that. And just throughout the day, I'll remember. So I'm monitoring how I eat. Not, you know, with a magnifying glass, but I am like around how much I eat doing that. And um, just trying to stay busy as I can. Um, so, 
yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on with me, which is why it's taken me a while to crank out any new content. I just, I've been also, you know, trying to stay busy for the sake of not getting overwhelmed with everything that's going on. And, um, yeah, I know as far as work, that's really on my mind right now. Cause I literally had like two days on the schedule and that for me is not going to work even with this boost that Trump is doing. Oh, by the way, if y'all don't know, instead of the stimulus check that we've been waiting on for four months, however long Trump has decided to boost everybody's paycheck. So whether you're getting paid weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you'll, if you pay attention to your paycheck, you should notice an increase in your paycheck. He is going to do that until I don't know when, and you're going to pay that back next year during taxes on top of everything else with the unemployment and the unemployment fraud that people are doing. That's probably going to fuck all of us over. So, um, yeah, instead of just really, he should have been paying us 2000 every month, like Canada, but nonetheless, <laughs> instead of doing that, he decided to throw extra on our paychecks and it will pay back next year. So if you're seeing your paycheck increase, do not blow all of that because you will have to pay that shit back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, with that being said, he's not trying to get reelected doing bullshit like that. But at any rate, with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think down below. Um, and I will get back to y'all on the next video. Peace.